all of you, appreciate your time. And we're gonna introduce, obviously, our most popular sedan here in the U.S. market. You know, you heard the ES rolled off uh, along with our flagship LS nearly 30 years ago. Um, and since then, here in the U.S., we've sold over a million ESs. Now, our newest LS went on sale early this year. That was hard to miss. And it's doing great in the marketplace, uh, by the way. And now it's time to bring out the all-new seventh generation ES. Now, the significance of this generation ES is that it's not just a U.S. vehicle. It will be sold now in over 90 countries, including Japan and Europe, for the very first time. In fact, the world premiere of the ES was in Beijing earlier this year. <clears throat> now, because it will be a big player for Lexus in the Chinese market, it's the reason we launched it there in Beijing. And of course, for the US market, you may be asking why we're we putting such an emphasis on a sedan when customers are moving to crossovers in record numbers. Matter of fact, I got that question before I made it through my first appetizer at dinner last night. So, so we, look, we feel that there will continue to be a very important role for sedans. In fact, uh, last year the segment accounted for over 350,000 sales. So that's the second largest segment within the entire luxury industry. And our research shows that more than half of luxury SUV buyers also own a car. But the ES is not just an ordinary car. It's an entry luxury sedan whose craftsmanship, features, ride, and handling are equivalent to most mid-luxury sedans that frankly cost thousands more. So we've taken lessons from our flagship LS and applied those materials and techniques to the all-new ES. Just take a look at the interior. The luxurious materials and amazing craftsmanship make it stand out in its class. For example, inside the F Sport model, you'll see distinctive trim that is similar to the Adori style of samurai swords. It's polished to reveal fluctuating wave patterns that give it a three-dimensional appearance that varies depending on the viewing angle. The effect is subtle, yet indicative of the level of detail and craftsmanship of the ES. Also like the LS flagship, the ES features all aluminum hood and front fenders. And it's an all new GAK platform. It's more rigid, it's more grounded for better performance. The platform benefits from processes used on the all new LS. These include um, increasing the amount of body bonding adhesives and the introduction of laser screw welding to improve rigidity. Now, this laser screw welding, uh, the result is really a difference between, if you can think about buttoning up a coat versus using a zipper on your coat. The zipper is, is much stronger. So we recently held uh, clinic evaluations with uh, in-market consumers, and we had them compare the all-new ES to the sport versions of some of our competitors, Mercedes C-Class, Audi A4, BMW 3 Series, and the Acura uh, TLS. So look, we were really happy to see that the new ES in the minds of these consumers was the clear winner. And it was by the largest amount, the gap was the largest amount that we have ever seen in all the years of doing ES comparisons. So the participants loved the uh, exterior styling, uh, but it was really the interior of the ES that made it stand out the most and attracted many potential buyers who saw this car in a whole new light. Another draw was the inclusion of user-friendly technology including Apple CarPlay and two-way Amazon Alexa. The ES will be the first Lexus to feature these new technologies. And we're looking forward to showcasing them to our new guests that are gonna love the functionality. Another new addition to the ES that is sure to attract new buyers is the introduction of the F Sport model. This is an ideal option for someone who wants the luxury and quality of the new ES with the addition of sportier driving dynamics and a more aggressive look. We expect the ES F Sport to appeal to a new buyer that's about 10 years younger than those buyers who choose the other ES models. And of course, we have a third flavor of ES, the ES 300H, it's our hybrid. 
our hybrid buyers tend to be more educated. They tend to make a little bit more money. And guests who opt for the hybrid will get a smooth and quiet uh, ride with terrific performance. And with the added benefit of an estimated combined 44 MPG. That's 44 MPG on a very large, substantial sedan. So it's not only best in the segment, it's the best MPG of any luxury vehicle sold in the industry without a plug. So together, the ES Hybrid, the ES350, and the ES F-Sport will account for about 50,000 annual sales here in the US. And we expect the S4 models to account for about 25% of that volume. And the hybrid will be about 15% of the mix. So ES buyers are very loyal to the Lexus brand. And we expect those loyalty rates to increase with, with this all new model. Additionally, the new EF F Sport moves this onto new consideration lists. So we expect about a third of our buyers to be conquested from other luxury brands. And both our Kyosho plant uh, in Japan and Kentucky plant are getting ready to produce the ES350 and the ES F Sport models. But the hybrid will be built exclusively in Kyosho in Japan. So the ES sales will begin in September, official on sale date early September. And we're gonna announce uh, pricing a little bit closer to that time. But look, it's safe to say that we will be similarly priced to the, uh, in the marketplace, the current ES, which starts at about $39,000. So marketing plans are ramping up. Um, uh, this summer, it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be a big splash. Uh, we're gonna feature, start to feature the ES at high-end consumer events, uh, coast to coast, the Los Angeles and New York Food and Wine Festivals, for example and also the upcoming uh, US Open Golf Championship. And then specifically for the ESF Sport, we'll be featuring it in connection with our performance driving line of products at our exclusive Lexus performance driving events held around the country. This fall, we're gonna do our best to bring the ES to the top of mind with all luxury customers. And we're gonna take full advantage of you know, prime sports, sponsorships, uh, television viewing, and we're gonna have a national launch marketing campaign it's really going to be focusing on the mastery of the ES to communicate its really confidence and authenticity. So we're also developing a multicultural outreach. Um, it's going to resonate with specific audiences in the Asian, Hispanic, Black, and LGBTQ uh, communities. So really to wrap it up, um, this all new ES is a terrific package of luxury, craftsmanship, and new driving dynamics. This car represents an opportunity for Lexus to retain our important guests and bring new luxury buyers into the Lexus brand. So we couldn't be more excited to be launching this car right now.